Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today is the 6th day of my Europe trip and as you all can see I am currently on a German autobahn. We are heading to the city of Cologne to see the Cologne Cathedral. The Cologne Cathedral was the only building in uh, the city of Cologne which survived the devastating effects of World War II. इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लगते हैं ये सारे के सारे जो है ये जर्मन मेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट जो है ये बनाए जाते हैं सो so, आज के दिन में जर्मनी जो है ये एक नंबर वन कंट्री करके जो है ये हम देख सकेंगे जर्मनी जो है जर्मनी के बारे में अगर हम बात करें टैक्स जो है ये पेड करना होता है वो ऑटो डिडक्ट होता है या फिर ऑनलाइन होता है मगर कौन से कंट्री की ये गाड़ी है ये हम कैसे आइडेंटिफाई कर सकेंगे अभी अगर कुछ होता है आ, क्राइम होता है या और कोई चीजें होती है तो ये गाड़ी बाबा विदाउट पेपर ये कौन से कंट्री की गाड़ी है ये कैसे आइडेंटिफाई कर सकेंगे पार्किंग की तरफ आएंगे जब बस की तरफ हम चलेंगे या फिर होटल पहुंचने के बाद वहां पे बहुत सी पार्किंग में व्हीकल्स होगी अभी हम जर्मनी में तो ये प्राइवेट व्हीकल जो है ये जर्मनी की हो सकती है या नेबरिंग कंट्री की हो सकती है बराबर है तो वो जो है ये देखना है ठीक है और जी है क्या है ये मुझे प्लीज बताना है सो एक्चुअली ईच एंड एवरी कार हैज दंट्री कोड फॉर दैट रिस्पेक्टिव कंट्री जस्ट इन इंडिया लाइक वी हैव महाराष्ट्र एम एच गुजरात जी जे so in such cases it helps to identify which car is of which country as told by our guide so ye yahan pe jo hai ye basically ek christian oh and see that's the building in front of us that is the colo cathedral we are going to visit right now The Cologne Cathedral was a great building to see in the city of Cologne which was bombed during the World War 2 but the cathedral was the only building that survived it was the only building that survived so it is a historic landmark of the city of Cologne and it is must to see
So this is how a typical rest stop looks like in a German autobahn. There is a cafe where you can order coffee or other stuff, also a garden to play, a parking area. You can actually park for free but you have to pay for the toilet. In my case, I was required to pay 1 euro for going to the toilet but from that you get a 0.75 euros voucher which again you have to spend so ultimately you spend more. Wow, military vehicles, just look at them. I have never seen such a tight military in Europe. Pepsi truck and military tanks side by side. Wow, wow, wow. In which city we are? I don't know. We are in which city? Please tell me. Please tell me. Old European houses made up of wooden stones and then the few modern houses made up of cement in an unknown German city. Welcome to Germany. <laughs> So, Now you all must have noticed that there is a considerable change in the overall landscape of the place we are at. It just feels like we are traveling to from Delhi, there are fields along us and we reach Haridwar and then the mountain starts. So there are lots of conifers trees all around us in a beautiful setting, a great landscape. So it just feels that we are on the foothills of Himalayas. Can you guess actually where we are? Can you guess? Come on guys. We are in the black forest region of Germany. So the black forest region is one of the few block mountains in the world. It is like around 1000 meters above the sea level and it is one of the most diversified regions in the world. This region is a home to variety of animals, bird species and of course various other plant species. There are lots of conifers trees around us and see look at this beautiful village. Wow, I am really impressed with this village and there are lots of grasslands. We are on a winding road with trees all around and beautiful small European villages. This is nothing but just a paradise on the world. So guys, I am telling you we are in the village of Duba. Duba is a village in the German 
uh, what do you call yeah black forest mountains and here it is famous for making cuckoo clocks i have known by the cuckoo clocks i know cuckoo clocks yeah so what i was telling i know cuckoo clocks because i had seen them in the tom and jerry cartoon so it was the only familiarity of me and cuckoo clocks cuckoo clocks so this is a great road you can see wow there are lots of cars over here remember we are in germany germany is famous for cars it is famous for steel uh, making manufacturing and engineering goods technology equipments and computer hardware and designing software germany is one of the most developed countries and the most populous countries in the european continent yes it is the populous country in the european continent Germany is famous for its rule its autobahns and the disciplined people over here so the capital of germany is berlin but berlin is in central europe we are currently in the western part which is like the industrial zone of europe which includes uh, industrial zone of germany which includes frankfurt munich stuttgart <coughs> and lot of other many cities inside the farmhouse you always had two choices in the winter you could either make clocks or you could make babies <laughs> but not at the same time okay. in the springtime you take your clocks to the markets in the towns the villages you sell your clocks and now you have some extra money for your family that's why the farmers were making some clocks so, that was 360 years ago, we said 300 years ago. We have now first professional clock makers, they're making the clocks out of metal parts now. And they put that inside, just a little wooden box to protect everything. On the front, simple face, but to make it more interesting, they start painting different pictures. So you have flowers, you have animals, trees, birds, leaves. And then about 250 years ago, clock maker takes one of the painted clocks and then for the very first time they add our new friend and the star of the show the cuckoo bird yeah. so this is very very simple for us today of course because we have so much technology everywhere it's crazy 250 years ago 
just the same as your smartphones, your laptop computers. This is the most advanced thing you could buy and take home. But another clock maker wanted to tell everybody a very, very important story. So he made a very special clock like this one, and he called the special <laughs> clock the in-laws clock. <laughs> You have indoors in India like this as well? Yeah. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh. Seems to be. Seems to be a little bit. You don't have experience like this? So, but the cuckoo clocks that we recognize today, they only started like this about 160 years ago. So again, someone has the idea, instead of painting, carve decorations on the wood, and then finish. So, in the beginning, the carving was quite simple. As time went on, more detailed. You had animals, you had trees, leaves, birds, animals. All the things you might find in the Black Forest. This is a very special clock. Most of the cuckoo clocks people have been making though over the last 160 years would be this size with very simple carving. So, ladies and gentlemen, today there are two different kinds of cuckoo clocks. You have a battery cuckoo clock. So it's like your battery clocks at home. You put the batteries here somewhere in the back. You set the time on the front and that's it, finished. Batteries work for about a year. Uh, the cuckoo sound is stopping automatically at night time and starting automatically in the morning. But the clock is always turning. So the battery ones, you put the batteries in, set the time, that's all you have to do. Then you have mechanical ones and they have these heavy metal weights underneath so what happens is the metal weights start here and they go all the way down to the floor and that is what pulling the chain that is what turns the wheels inside the clock so the small weights you see are a one day clock because it takes the weights 24 hours to go from underneath the clock down to the floor then it would stop. So you have to wind up once every day. That is why we call small weights one day clock, daily winding clock. The large weights are eight day clock. So now it's taking eight days to go from top all the way down to the bottom. So a mechanical clock is either a one day clock or an eight day clock. So we need a cuckoo bird ladies and gentlemen, otherwise we're not going to have a cuckoo clock. So there's not actually a real cuckoo bird inside. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Instead we have these pipes. They have small opening on the top. The air goes backwards and forwards. You see the bellows. Just draws the air in and out, in and out. So we have two of them with slightly different sounds. Then you put that inside a cuckoo clock, you add a little magic and then that is what makes a cuckoo. So cuckoos are like people, they come in different sizes. These are medium cuckoos. And then in the smallest clocks, these are smallest friends. Because it's not a real cuckoo bird, you don't have to worry about feeding them or taking them for a walk. It's not necessary. So ladies and gentlemen, all the clocks we have here today have two year international guarantee to look after you in India, two service stations for the mechanical ones with the metal weights, one in Mumbai, one in Bangalore, but the battery clocks only Bangalore. India is obviously a very, very big country. If you're too far away, then you have to contact the clock maker and he will tell you what to do. So uh, your tour guide gave you a little card. Okay.
so this was all about cuckoo clocks it was a fantastic experience the guy was explaining was explaining really nicely but only the downside was the prices man who would pay almost 6000 rupees for a small piece of clock which is not which is not actually really recommended for indian people as such uh, it is good for art lovers or one who love clocks or or maybe they are like more into art kind of thing but certainly i have i will not buy this clocks but still it was a great experience i gained a lot of knowledge about how they are made and how they are actually <clears throat> manufactured in germany so guys now we are exiting germany we are entering a new country of europe can you guess what is the country's name come on quickly comment in the comment section pause this video and comment i will reveal the answer after 5 seconds so we are going to switzerland the Switzerland part of my trip is going to be the most exciting one. We are going to go to the top most railway station in Europe. I will keep further things as secret. This region is so much like Kashmir. You have the Kashmir Valley and over that is the mountains just like they have conifers trees here are the same conifers trees beautiful villages same in kashmir beautiful villages and this scenery same like pahalgam this reminds me of pahalgam this is so like pahalgam you have grasslands and over them they have some trees and it is just wow you can't describe this in words really the houses are also so similar. I would love to stay in this 